Good afternoon everyone, Chris Saraga for your 365 down here at the Feather River, your Oroville Feather River right here. Uh, I'm at the, my favorite place, the Rock House or better known as the Feather River Nature Center. Thought I would give you a quick report on the river because the river level has come up since the, just yesterday matter of fact. So the DWR has started their third and what they say is their final spill of the um, reservoir uh, that is just back that way from me. Uh, right now you are looking at the Feather River at about 27,000 cubic feet a second. The spillway is right now putting out 30,000 cubic feet a second. Why is it less? Because what you can see right there, the diversion pool is putting out slightly less than what they're spilling right now to fill that diversion pool back up. So 30,000 uh, out of this uh, reservoir, 16,000 about uh, cubic feet per second going in, and which makes the river totals of about 30, I'm sorry, about 27,000 cubic feet a second. The reservoir level is at 848 and a half feet, so that's actually down about a quarter of an inch from when they first started. As I said, this is supposed to be the third and final spill before they start the repairs. And I don't know if you guys have noticed, but around town we've already started seeing some of the rock trucks and various other construction equipment coming uh, up Garden Highway, I believe, or which would actually be Garden to Table Mountain Boulevard. And then they're using the roundabout and going out to their newly constructed Burma Road to get their rock out there. So they've already started to stage what they need to repair. Uh, that is great news for us as um, we all want to see the spillway back up to its former or better glory. So that is... Uh, I personally think that that is going to be a great thing and that it's good that they're starting to go as the, you know, they're starting to get everything ready even before they stop spilling. This spill is supposed to go for what they estimate is about a week, but um, I'm not sure, I, I don't have actual numbers on that. If it's about a week or how long, I will get better numbers for you a little bit later. I was at work a little longer than I thought I would be today. So uh, let me show you around. I've been at this exact same spot just a week ago and I marked where the high level of the water was by the white against these rocks here. I don't know if you can see that as well on cam. Yes, you can. So if you see right there is the high level mark. So it hasn't come all the way up to where it was before, but it is still quite high. If you can see the waters just right there. It doesn't look dangerous, but trust me, after being around this river for, I think this is my 91st or second day in a row, um, it's, this river can be deceptively, look deceptively tranquil and still sweep you, or better yet, me, <laughs> down the river. Let me show you where I'm at right now. So this, that is not good for me. I've said that uh, a bunch of times. I don't think it's 91 times now, but that's not good for me. If I fall in that, I don't swim well enough to not be down that way towards Marysville right there. That's where you'd end up finding me. Right back up that way is the spillway. Right there's the diversion pool. So diversion pool, spillway, and it goes around the bend, and then the spillway, and then the lake itself. And then down this way, Marysville, Yuba City, Gridley, Live Oak, and such down the river there. Um, I don't know how the farmers are gonna feel with this raising water level. It looks like it actually came up quite fast. Uh, they had said that they were going to stage it over time. It looks like it came up a little quicker than what they had estimated to us. So we will just have to see. Um, speaking of changes, there's been a lot of changes in this last week. The water level's gone down. The water level's come up. We've got rock trucks going through our town. We had quite a bit of wind. Uh, I think our rainy season's finally over. I mean, geez, Orville, I think we all just need a real quick collective sigh of, Holy cow, you know, I mean, this has been quite a run. Uh, 91 days, like I said, of, of ups and downs and meetings and all kinds of craziness. I just want to say, just like this, thank you, Orville, for being who you guys are. You guys have done a wonderful job, even with the strife and the speaking back and forth. You guys have been exemplary in both your accolades and complaints to the DWR. You guys are doing a wonderful job. Keep it up. I will keep up my part in trying to report everything as neutral as possible to you guys. And I 
We'll see you. Let's see, 90. Well, I'm not even gonna try to do the math. I've been here 91 days. I've got a bunch more left to make 365 days. I'm gonna do something special for you guys all on the 100th day, though. So watch out for that. That's coming. Uh, I've got some video that I have posted up. I'm sorry, that I've been taking kind of editing in the background. So you're gonna get a few posts this next couple days. Make sure that you subscribe to the YouTube channel. They come out there more frequently than they come out anywhere else. Uh, make sure that you obviously subscribe to the 360 where you're seeing this at right now be sure that you comment anywhere either on the 365 or in the YouTube comments I try to answer them all or at least like them or if they don't require an answer and I will get to everything that you guys have asked me to do every place that you guys have asked me to fly the drone I'm doing my best to get to all to it all of it so thank you very much thank you for uh, watching thank you for sticking with me 91 days and I will see you all tomorrow thank you very much bye